how many things in our life come but we don't appreciate that hmm? so many good things happen in our life do we appreciate it no we forget we take it for granted and we forget about it but when you went for a certain trial that also have seen people forgetting about that you know once there was a lady i have told that before she had cancer she came and then she begged the oh, please and my children are very small i don't want to die i have to be there yeah she she had bone marrow cancer and uh, that time i said okay fine listen you do your best but one will help you you know god will help you eventually she was fine but she asked a certain time but meanwhile you see along the line when she was very fine and everything i remember once i saw her and she came to the temple half clothes and i asked her you are coming to the temple why are you don't even respect the place itself you know why you don't you dress like this that was 5 years or 6 years later and she answered me that ah now i have a second life i want to enjoy it that what she said i want to enjoy my life so was she grateful about that second chance that she got no and i remind her listen you have given us you have asked to for a certain time and you will have only that time no more will be given to you and she laugh and i laugh also <laughs> so you see how quickly people can forget you know even while they go through a certain trial once their life become easy you know they at ease again they forget about it because they think that yes now i am done that what also she thought about until last year the time which she have asked that her first daughter get married then her i said this is typical indian uh, as a parents away you know i should care for my children until they are on their i say feet and then then it is fine so until last year when her daughter got married and straight away the cancer reoccurred again and doctor have given her only few more months to live and then she again appeared in the scene all these years was forgotten but this is how people are you know they don't appreciate what they have in life in, in spite of going through tra- uh, for trials they don't appreciate they forget they make themselves forget about it but bhagwan didn't want to but uh, sudama forget about him because in our easy is east life you know we try to forget about god we think of our, ourselves only but sudama no he came to the point even all the saints you see when we look at their life it's not an easy life you know 
they have bhagwan test them bring them to the edge of the cliff even push them down you know but who was down is only him when prahlad maharaj was thrown from the cliff did he uh, was he bothered about who is down no he he saw that love of god at each moment of his life even in the face of death he was not scared he didn't doubt bhagwan you know what was always om namo bhagavate vasudevaya that is the secret of his name you know but in any moment he didn't have doubt look when something happen into your life you call yourself devotee yes or no hmm call that's what i'm saying how quickly can you doubt so quickly so quickly you will be the first one to curse when something doesn't go the way you want because we think that because we believe in god it have to be the way we we our life have to be smooth and wonderful no are we sincere towards him and in that sincerity how long will i strive for him you know how long will i stand in his presence without deviating how long will i keep my mind fixed upon him without doubting him doubting even a single grain was not in sudama that's why bhagwan embrace him that's why bhagwan even wash his feet it is not you see once you have commit yourself and you stand by your commitment it is not you who have to go to him he himself will run to you and that is the commitment where sudama stand when he was even at the gate of krishna's palace he didn't go there to ask krishna for anything he went there for krishna so that is what sudama and krishna's relationship is about you know look how krishna run to him those great saints who have commit themselves to bhagwan bhagwan by him his his own echo run to them but are we sincere about that now are, are we sincere with our commitment when life goes very nicely yes we are committed when everything goes smoothly in our life everything is fine we can sit meditate chant we can worship we can love we can do all these things it's easy but when challenges come do you keep the same faith do you keep the same strength do you keep the same love do you keep the same enjoyment this is where it will be determined you know whether you are truly a devotee or not